Hello and welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. We're on day seven making filters and today I thought making a modular or a synthesizer project of this magnitude without having any reference to Moog would be sad. So today I'm going to make a Moog high pass ladder filter or a, a filter inspired by the Moog high pass ladder filter. Um, so this design is by EFM, Electronic for Music. Tom G, as the person behind that is called. Um, and this is has also been on my to-do list for about 20 years. So I, I wanted to do, make this filter a long time. And so the previous week I've been doing that and um, it didn't work out of the box and if you look around in the DIY community you'll find that many of, of uh, EFM's designs have a few quirks or a few misses in the schematics that makes them not work out of the box. But with very nice and fast help from the synth DIY community they pointed me in the right direction just like that and I got the circuit running. So again uh, it's a very nice community the uh, Synth DIY. Very helpful. Uh, so make sure that you when you download the schematics if you do that that you add the extra two components that I add in this video. I also want to say thank you to my supporters over on Patreon who, uh, by supporting me, help me make these videos. And with that, let's go and see where I found the schematics, how to build this and what little quirks we need to figure out to fix this. As I said earlier, this has been on my to-do list for a long time. And as many of those projects, it's on SynthDIY.com and it down here is the Moog type high pass filter. Uh, so it's done by EFM Electronic for Music and it's not supported by him so um, it's just here and here's the schematics. And this is the schematics and it doesn't look that difficult. <laughs> But uh, this was a, a really difficult filter to build because you have the op amps and you have eight op amps, so you need two TL074. And on each op amp stage, you are going to connect two transistors. And that do, uh, like I do on my uh, Vero boards, this becomes really tight and. and <laughs> a bit difficult to work with and also there's a cap in between every stage so as you can see on my proto board here it is quite crammed so I, I do put this in the difficult or hard uh, difficulty stage also this one does not work out of the box or or as it is what happened is that when I when I plug this in, it looked like this. So it works without resonance. But as soon as I touch the resonance, you get someone on the Facebook Synth DIY community said this is called a haystack. And I understand that it looks like a haystack. And that is because the there's there are high frequency noises that get through that that do this to the signal and to fix that problem you just add a capacitor at the end and at the beginning of the of the ladder so these are 22 picofarad capacitors here and when adding these two it worked perfectly so a big thanks to Mark Rundle over at SynthDIY Group on uh, Facebook who uh, pointed this out to me and helped me fix this. 
The front panel is a very generic one, frequency, resonance, CV input, in and out. Again, this could benefit from the uh, CV attenuator input or CV input attenuator that you can attenuate the CV input so you don't get the whole CV input signal and just a bit if you just want to automate the frequency uh, a little bit. But I don't have that here. Uh, that is a very nice addition to most of the modules I've built so far. As I said, this one is hard. It's a really difficult build uh, because of all the components that need to be very close to each other. And as you can see, there are 54 components in this one build. So one of the more difficult ones I did. It took me three hours on and off to do this. Uh, I didn't do it in one uh, full session. I, I divided it down in a few sessions, which in total took three hours. So here are five 2N3906 and 43904. So a lot of these transistors. And there is a lot of resistors that needs to be added. Nine 100K resistors. So a whole bunch of, of components that need to be put together. Which leaves us at the highest price so far. Again on a filter of $12. All right, sound example time. So the filter is down here. It's I haven't gotten the correct panel yet, so just a blank panel. We start with white noise and we do a filter sweep. And then we add full resonance. Ah, so you hear that whistling? Okay, so we take a triangle wave instead. Very screaming filter. This one as well. Let's modulate this. And let's connect the sequence with the attack decay module.
And now we also have a Moog inspired filter. I love the sound of this filter as it's very throaty or, or nasal in its nature. It's, it, I, it feels like a very organic filter or the sound of it, uh, very voice like in, in its uh, character. So uh, yeah, a, a really nice addition to our arsenal of filters that we are beginning to get. And with that, there is only one filter left. And it was, I, I found that just recently and it is, there are so many filters out there and, and sometimes you need to uh, put an end to everything, also this series. So therefore the next episode and the next filter will be the last one in this series. And we'll concentrate on a few other things for a while. Uh, and with that said, I hope you like this video uh, and that you are subscribing. And if you're not, press that subscribe button. Uh, if you have any comments, thoughts, questions, leave them below. Let me know what you thought of this filter. Uh, it's if you liked it or not. And until next time, take care. Bye.